here we are at Colin and Lauren's house and we are going to tour their chicken coop today and they're going to talk a little bit about how they've kept this coop and um, the chickens safe. Welcome to the coop. We have uh, set up the electric fence for demonstration purpose. So I'll just show you how we let them out. So we turn off the power supply and then these are electrified bungee cords. So they're just bungee cords with little bits of electric cable inside. Nice and easy to set up and take down. And so here we have the enclosure. Um, we've got bigger fencer wire for a lot of the structure. Closer to the ground, we reinforced it with smaller diameter or smaller size mesh. And I've dug the mesh about a foot to 18 inches uh, underneath the ground to stop uh, anything from burrowing inside. Especially and the smaller critters. Yeah, we haven't encountered too many rats. Um, so yeah, then we come inside the structure. Um, it's made of sort of salvaged from slash pile posts, uh, some salvaged roofing. I got a tip off from Leah about uh, <laughs> yeah. a construction project that was throwing it away. Um, so if you come in, uh, you can see we've got a little splash pool for the ducks. They have a bigger pool outside, but when they're in the enclosure, we like to make sure they have access to water. Um, they seem to love the mirror also. <laughs> Not sure if they're egomaniacs yeah. or they just like the light. Um, but they're very messy creatures, as you can see. Mm -hmm. um, so we've put a little stick in here for them to roost on. I think in the, the winter. Yeah, the, the chickens will probably build a, a better one. But for now, that does the trick. There's our little uh, motivational sign that uh, locally made. <laughs> And so yeah, we've got a, a little hanging feeder here. The chickens and the ducks are sharing feed. They do eat a lot from the yard. They are starting to eat slugs and they get all the, the greens. Um, but this is a good, uh, good way to feed them easily. And uh, this is our water feeder. Highly recommend it because it keeps, the, uh, keeps it a little bit more sanitary. We usually add a little apple cider vinegar to it. And it's just pre like a, a vacuum. So there's a little gasket on the top uh, that seals off. And then anytime the water level goes below the nozzle, it just refills. So we only have to fill it every month or so. The ducks usually like to sleep underneath the roosting box. So that little wooden box that's got a chicken on top of it right now is uh, the duck's little snuggle zone. Uh, so they're pretty good about going there every night. And then the chickens will go up into their roosting box. So the roosting box is great because it opens up fully. So when it's time to clean it, it's nice and easy. Um, I either just add more litter or if it's really needing to be changed, I will uh, bring a wheelbarrow up and just use a broom and just pull out the droppings. It makes excellent compost additives. Uh, you can see from where the droppings are in that far corner, they love it in that corner. So, um, and it's nice and secure. Everything you can see, we've put fencer wire or a little bit of hardware cloth all around all the little gaps around the top or just two by fours to make sure that there's no gaps where any, you know, environments can come in. And you can see we've got the little roosting boxes. These chickens are about five months old, so they have not yet started laying. We're really looking forward to when that happens because right now they're just uh, being adorable garden destroyers. <laughs> and yeah, I chose two by fours for them to roost on. Apparently they can go on round things, but uh, it's easier for them to keep their feet warm, I read, mm -hmm. if they're on a, a little two by four and then their, their feathers can keep their feet warm. So. Mm -hmm. I just recently learned about that, that yeah. they actually prefer their, their to, to be on the, the uh, roosting bars mm -hmm. with kind of more flat feet. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. And we found that hanging the feeder is really helpful in case any smaller critters like mice or rats get into the zone. So this just 
because it wobbles, it's harder for them to access the feeder. Mm -hmm. um, although there is a lot of spillage, um, but it does also prevent it from going moldy underneath the feeder, mm -hmm. which is helpful. Great. Okay. We got them a great subsidy from Wild Safe BC. Bob Hansen hooked us up and uh, made it a little bit more affordable for us to get this awesome electric fence kit. I think it's typically used in the field for camping in places where there are large wildlife, uh, but we kind of repurposed and made it a little bit more permanent for surrounding the coop. And uh, it's powered just by a couple of uh, sort of D-cell batteries inside. I think they're called D-cell batteries, the cylinder ones. Um, and it's lasted for a couple of months so far. I'm looking to set up a better power supply, but uh, it seems to be keeping the, the environment so we haven't had any issues yet. So here we are with a little chicken TV for your enjoyment at the end of this video.